back here. The sheep. Yeah. The pimp, the doctor, Barry fucking Blaze. That's the squad today, per usual. Per How you guys been doing today? How you guys been doing since the last episode? We... Yeah. Um, I lost in fantasy, and that was sad. Yeah, fantasy. Big L. So I don't but... play fantasy, bro. Did you see the debates last night? We got we just had the debates last night. If you're wondering the timeline of this podcast, yeah, I didn't uh, watch them or we keep in touch with any of it. It was fun. It's actually entertaining shit. What are they? What are the? What are the takeaways? I didn't listen to any of the words. <laughs> I guess they weren't really. They were just saying the same thing. Yeah, they were. So, but like, Trump was like. <laughs> Like duck facing, and then fucking <laughs> Kamala was like looking like she was about to cry for some reason. And I was like, "What's going on, dude?" I was just so she's, confused. She's and we were not playing a good, drinking dude. game. We had to take we had to take a drink every time he said Russia or China, and then every time Biden was brought up, and then every time uh Kamala was like Trump's a liar, and we took like fuck it. I was absolutely blackout. Like, I got way too drunk for that shit. Hmm. Yeah. That's fun. But yeah, yeah, she doesn't seem to do too well in front of, um, cameras. Nah. But do you remember that Mark Zuckerberg photo when he was, like, in front of the Supreme Court and he looked like an alien and everyone made fun of him? <laughs> yeah. And the, yeah. I know have you ever seen, about. have you ever seen the flipped version of that photo where, like, he was seeing? No, what was he seeing? Oh, it was like a thousand cameras. I mean, not obviously not a thousand cameras, but it's just so many cameras and people like yeah. facing him, taking these photos that like, it would be more weird if he looked like a normal human in that moment. Yeah. Like you show True. up to court and you have just so many people just snapping these photos of you and you're just like, hmm. God damn. I would be like, ah, oh, do I, do I pose? <laughs> my lawyer would be like, "Put your put your hands down." I'd be like, "What do I do with my hands?" Usually, so he actually kind of did really good in, my, in my hindsight because he got toasted on that. But then, but yeah, how have you guys been? Big chilling. Big chilling. Yeah, I wrote this note down that I wanted to talk about on the pod today, and it was like a whole thing that I learned about. It was about the Swifties are mad at Taylor Swift because she won't endorse Kamala. I was like, hey, I'm going to talk about this on the pod today. Added my notes, and then I wake up this morning, and Taylor Swift puts out, like, a huge post that's on every news source saying she endorses Kamala. So it just ruined my whole, like, story thing about the Swifties are all mad, but now they're not mad that she did it. But that's a good story, I guess. Um... What's her face? Taylor Swift. So she's saying, that's my girl? Yeah, originally she was saying, yo, I'm not talking about it. And I and Patty Mahomes' wife is like a big Trump girl. And they were hanging out the other night. And they're, it's not touch screen. Oh. Yeah. But then Taylor Swift. Oh, wait, I just closed the stream. What did you have up? I, just, I didn't want to ruin the flow about just showing you the photo. What was the photo? I, I've closed it now. Is the more sorry? I ruined the flow. I just wanted to do it suddenly. But never mind. <laughs> what were yeah. you saying? So yeah, so she wants. Like I say, that was kind of my fault. I like tried to touch the screen. No, you're good. But no, like, the Swifties. No, Swifties were pissed, and they made like a whole foundations like Swifties for Kamala, and they were like, even if Taylor Swift doesn't say shit, like fuck her, but we're gonna do this anyway. And then today, Taylor Swift came out, and she's like, I want, I want that bitch. Did she say it like that? Dude, she, she, yeah, dude, she's like, she's going hard, dude. She's like, I want that bitch Jen. in office. And now there's going to be a beef <laughs> at Family Swift, Dinner. Like, Taylor Swift's going, I want that bitch in office. Yeah. I respect it, though. Yeah, so don't at least, fucking like, Google anything, because we don't fucking do that on the sea. I'm not good. I was just trying to. I, <laughs> out I exited out of the photo, so I was just trying to bring it back up. But um, so yeah, this was the one photo <laughs> basically. So and then it, so the photos that came out of this were the photos of him looking really awkward, and everyone's like, "This guy's an alien." But it's like yeah, probably, it's probably like 
Bro's like running over the other guy trying to take the picture. Like he's like yeah. resting resting his elbow on his head to take the picture. That, like. that is a tough picture, dude. It's yeah, kind of baller so though. Well, that foot. Well, yeah. Um, did you guys hear about the people who are shooting up O Block? No, we shooting up O Block. I think dude. I'm gotta. I'm forgetting where. I think it's either Lithuanian people or. Something along those lines are just coming over Venezuela, here. The Venezuela people? Venezuela. Yeah, they're just coming over here and just shooting up Obla. Why am I not as informed as you guys? <laughs> Why do you guys just know about what's going on bro, in Obla? They, they, they had uh, an apartment <laughs> complex on lockdown. They locking shit down, boy. They trying to take over. Shit, you guys yeah, are just... I think... Are you two running Obla, dude? Just no, so <laughs> I mean, shoot, if O-Block need, need a block captain, I can help him out. Shit, all right. I'm gonna, Fucking Barry I'm Blaze gonna, and the doctor run no, O-Block. I'm going to politely decline. I'm going to decline. If anyone else survive. thinks they run O-Block, if anybody else thinks they run O-Block, hit up the C I, podcast. Because it's Barry Blaze and the doctor. We'll get them Venezuelans out of there, bro. Yeah. I, um, I think someone in O-Block... I think it happened very, like, I could be wrong, but I think someone basically just, like, started dissing this Venezuelan people for whatever reason, and just like, ah, they're a bunch of, and then they literally just flew over here and just, yeah, started locking down apartment complexes and shit. (laughs) And that's just happening in, like, I don't know, that's, like, three hours, four hours away in the United States. So maybe people are saying... Did you hear? I heard the one thing about the Trump thing where he said that people from Haiti are eating people's dogs in Ohio. <laughs> really? I've seen that too. But I mean, like when you really should have been like. Trump and like cats holding guns and shit. <laughs> like what Trump he really should have done. Trump saved cats. But he could be on something if like people are literally just flying over here and they're shutting down apartment complexes in like major cities like Chicago. Maybe maybe at some point we should start being like, why do you want to come over here? What what are you guys doing here? Oh, are you even getting that? all the way up there, dude? That's a big travel. They're coming from Mexico. That's what I'm saying, like, no, there's no way they Venezuela. Just, they had to just be. They had to have been here for a minute. yeah, but like, you don't just like come up from the from Venezuela to fucking like Chicago. Like that's a far travel. You know, if they're you calling to... your bluff, there was a guy who uh, was bragging about stealing cartel money at a bar. I was like, and then, like, a, within, like, that day, he was, like, found chopped up. Really? It's a little come stand yeah, on your business, you know? If you're just, like, bragging about, like, ah, if some, some dude's probably like, hey. I, don't, I, I guess I shouldn't have brought it up when I don't know why I started, but I just thought it was an interesting thing going on. In our oh, country. No. It's not a, it's not like the beginning of the uh what's that movie? Scarface. You know how Scarface came over here on the boat? Then they had the 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 like homeless shelter under the highway type shit. I can't I can't remember. Remember. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I that that sound like some the beginning of some shit. I'm gonna be honest. Never New watched Scarface. Fucked. New York's fucked with the immigrants right now. They're like they're, you know, those big trucks, basically like just big trucks. They're living inside of them, Wait. in front of, on the street, and people are like, "Get the fuck out of these trucks!" Barry Blaze, you never watched Scarface? No. Blaze, you've never watched Scarface. Scarface? You've got to, as a movie person, as a person who's trying to write a movie, you've got to watch Scarface, bro. It's a good movie. It's a, it's a cult film now. You know what I mean? I don't like the gangster movies. As much. Bro, but like it is the the best gangster movie. It's not as much a gangster movie as it is like a like... psyop. It's more no, not as, it's like more like it shows hit a one guy kind of like going crazy. Yeah, bro. Like from like... start to beginning, like he's like oh he's kind of there, and then by the end he's like pretty fucking crazy. But then he's like about to kill a kid, and he's like no, nah, never mind. Like that's a little. And then he like strangles some other guy. No, I think you're thinking of a different movie. No, in the car, when they're about to kill the fucking guy at the end. And then he, but the guy had his kids in the car. The guy, Scarface dies at the end. Yeah. But he's about to kill, like, the guy. Yeah, he's about to kill, no, he's about to kill, uh, the dude's brother. Or, the, 
his friend because he was messing with his sister and got his sister pregnant and was trying to get out the game. No, dude, I swear they're in a car and they're about to kill the government guy, right? They did mm-hmm. kill the government guy. They but, did? Yeah, but it made a big scene. So, like, they had to, like, lay low. And that's why the brother was trying to get out of there because he was having a baby with his sister. No, yeah, the no kids scene. I don't even All know. Right. All right. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Ben, have you seen Scarfish? Me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's your favorite kind of titties? Like out of all titties. Um, like one grape love, pepperoni, um, apple pepperoni. What the fuck? Yeah, why'd pepperoni. you start with pepperoni? It's grape. Like, are you talking, you about, are you talking about the areola size? Yeah, here, Brayden, can you do a Google search of t- uh, types of titties, and then we're going to pick the best one. But why'd you start with pepperoni? I gotta, started with, I like you can was, roll it back, I started with grape. Fruit, bro, like the fruit size. And then, Is grape not a fruit? Yeah, but then you add uh, on, on I think I think the, the pimp grapes, likes. I'm talking about the nipples. I'm talking about titties. But I think pimp revealed himself. That he likes little titties, cause uh, like what? what no, a, he likes the pepperoni. A... He likes the big nipples. If when he said, "What you like the big nipples?" No, dude. because listen, maybe okay. If I if I said, "Hey guys, what's your favorite type of nipple or uh, boobs?" and then someone starts with their first example being, "I said great, ginormous said, great, nipples." I'm thinking this dude likes ginormous nipples now. Out of uh, <laughs> all the examples you could have listed, you started with that. People listen one. to the pod. Didn't know like, I like grape the most. Pepperoni they know I like grape. Crazy. Dude, you didn't crazy. go like honkies. Pepperoni. Like, you guys are gaslighting me. I'm not gaslighting you, but I'm just saying pepperoni is a, a big size, dog. Like, is this working? Can you guys see this? Yeah, it's loading. All right, here we go. I'm gonna say, out of this one, it'd probably be like. Bell or the teardrop? It's no, the round or the teardrop. Dude, Bell is fucking bad, dude. Bell's no, bad. I meant to say teardrop around. I'm teardrop I didn't see around, day. and I thought Bell represented it first. Bell's not bad. Or side set's not bad sometimes. Side set's wild. No, what? Yeah, dude, Don't it's like. Maybe the picture looks good. It's like trying to talk to someone who's like. It's eyes the are only away. like. It's like, hey, I'm over here. I'm over here. Uh, you need a I like Google pepperoni nips. I like, I like. No, because we're not talking about the size of the nipples. We're All talking right, about fine. the type of boob. That That's bad immediately what he what he went to though. That's the. <laughs> 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 yeah, go to the better. Go to that one. The one at the bottom. Middle. So clearly, Ben oh, is the nipples guy. Don't you turn on be. the blur. Yeah. Um. Look at real tits. Let's look at real tits. <laughs> Let's be men here. Let's not look at some like animated titties. All right, hundred women breath. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's see that. Okay, zoom in if you can. <laughs> if you guys want to see uh, what picture we're looking at, I'll leave the link in the bio. So just hit that <laughs> link right now, and you can kind of see what we're going on. Um, so after this. Titties. Out of this, just like first glance that grabbed my eye was this one right here. Which one? Like they say, your eyes, they say your eyes. They say your eyes automatic. Oh, they say your eyes automatically. The second one from the right top, uh, but two rows up. Oh, that one, like at the bottom, like the second to bottom row. You guys really can't. It doesn't show my mouse. Do it again. Zoom all the way in on the tits. That's wild. It won't show my mouse. This the one yeah, from. All right, so look at the corner girl, and then go yeah. right diagonal from her. That okay. one just caught my eye right off the bat. Those are nice tits, <laughs> but dude, the huge okay, lobster wait. ones. So if you go diagonal one more time. If you go diagonal one more time. <laughs> one more. Yeah, well, this is how we're gonna do it. The top, the top left is one. And then the bottom left is one, all the way through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So which one do you, so like mine would have been nine, nine. 
Okay. Yours is nine nine. All right, bet. Well, um, just right away, that one grabbed my eyes. These are some whack titties. Right away, grabbing my <laughs> eyes is one, two, three, four, five. One, two. Oh, look, go far top right. Oh my bad. Oh, uh, six five. No, go far top right though. One, two, three. Far top right like, looks uh, good too. Like right in the oh. corner. Oh. Oh, I yeah, see your mouse I... now. You can see my mouse. Only on the white. This one right here? Water. No, I can't see your mouse. The corner, yeah. The, the corner, corner looks good. Okay, the corner. These are these are like wag tapes, but these are real. I really like, like, I really like one three of no that right there. Or go up. Oh yeah. No, second. Okay. One <laughs> What's two, going three, on right four, there, dog? She a cancer surgeon. I like that I one. Five. I like I like four three. I like the tats. I like, I like three three two. Four, I three, like the three, tats. Four. Oh no, that's the one I was calling out earlier. Five, uh, six or something, or five four. No, that'd be one, one two, three, four, five, six, six. Two. Okay, this is bad. Podcast. Five six. Five but six. I'm just gonna say one love. I love them all. Yeah, right, except Tyler. except that cancer booby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, there was a like I saw. One. Yeah, she like a, a military vet or some. Right. She got her shit chopped off in war. Do you know? Does yeah. anyone know who David? <laughs> Lucas? Of mine, Teddy. Brandon, do you what? know David Lucas at all? He's like a celebrity or he's something. The I roast, guess. Oh, he's, like, he's the he's roast. He's the roast guy. Okay, so you guys know who he is. I didn't know this, but I thought this was hilarious when I saw it. So, do you guys know like the Matan Evan guy that makes like those podcasts? Like I roasted him in the early episodes. Oh, uh, well, he no. basically this little Jewish kid. No, you got to listen to the story. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, okay, so I'm going hoodie this, little Jewish, this little Jewish kid told David Lucas he would give him $10,000 if he would come on the podcast. And David Lucas oh gets on the podcast and like he, the kid just starts roasting him. And he's like, oh, I don't care if you roast me as long as I get my 10 Gs at the end of this. And the kid's like, I'm not paying you. <laughs> and he's like, what? <laughs> and then he gets all pissed. And then he's like, wait, just stay, just stay. And he's like, what do you think of these pictures? And then he just like did like AI David Lucas fat and started handing him pictures of just him fat, dude. And like David Lucas just started crashing out on this little Jewish kid's pod. <laughs> and it was so fucking funny, dude. But I don't know. I thought that was a funny thing I saw. <laughs> That's great. That's 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 what we should start doing. Yeah, we should just start like <laughs> telling people we'll pay them and shit. Yeah, dude, we'll give you ten thousand dollars. Start roasting the good stars. All right, and I actually got I got one more really good story I wanted to tell on this pod. One more. It's about when I got expelled. Um, I had the I moved to Virginia for a little bit. And I basically got expelled from school for selling weed, and this kid snitched it on me who had to, like, use my friend. But, like, yeah, I go to Virginia because I get, like, my mom's like, you got to go stay in Virginia. And I'm like, fuck. But then this kid that snitched on me, he, like, DM'd me. And he was like, hey, bro. Recently? I'm like, Recently? no, he DM'd me, like, right after I got expelled, like, three months oh, okay. later. And he's like, dude, I can't believe that happened. I'm so sorry. And I was like, dude, didn't you snitch on me? And he was like, yeah, dude, you know, I didn't really mean to do that. I hope you're all good. And I was like, oh, it's all good, bro. And then this kid goes like, psych, you're a fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? Did he hurt me? <laughs> yeah, and then he was like, yeah, dude, fuck you, and you're a fucking drug addict. And I was like, what? And I'm like sitting on the toilet reading these, just like in Virginia at my grandma's, just fuming. Like, I've never been, like, I don't think I've been that mad in my life, dude. Let's but think I'm about sad. this for a second. That kid, your mom, your mom and dad were already kind of, like, hated like by the community a little. Yeah. Do we think that, that their parents, like, that kid's parents knew that your parents grew weed? And they were like, this was the whole setup through the school from the very start? Or do you think that that kid set it up, and then just told, just completely on his own. I think that's why I was like... Yeah, I think I like he wanted to be like, a cop. I feel like he wanted to be a cop. <laughs> and I had a class with him. I had a class with him, and he was, like, acting like he was my homie. And I was like, yeah, I'm just... I was obsessed with weed for some reason in sixth grade. And then the kid was like, dude, I was like, I can get some. And he's like, how? I was like, I'm gonna, like, steal it. And then I got weed, and then I brought it to him. It's just... And he told the school I was going to bring him weed. 
and they waited till Friday because he was like, "Can you bring it on Friday?" And then they like totally set me up, and then yeah, yeah. the kid like totally snitched on me and was like laughing at me in the office pretty much. And then he DMs me and I'm like, "Oh, he apologized." And then he's like, he says, "Psych." And he tells is this me, your, like, I'm a is this the same Instagram that you have now? Yeah. No, yeah, you I tried to DMs. find the DMs. I don't. I tried to find them last night when I was <laughs> probably, telling the story. You probably I deleted it out of sadness. Words. Dude, I was, like, actually so pissed off. I was so pissed off. Dude. I mean, he kind of owned you, dude. Yeah. The earliest DM I have, though, is with your cousin. Anna? Yeah. Name oh. She's fine now, dude. <laughs> she really got hot. Don't be like that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't be like that. Well, I won't be like that. I won't be uh, like that. Uh, that I would like, be weird, though. Be... That, like, Did your parents ever do that Like, with your guys' cousins? Like, So I had two all-girl cousins. And then when I would go up north, and it was them. And then so I'd hang out with them, and then they'd be like, oh, they're flirting. And I'm like, it's just my cousin. Why are you guys even, like, promoting that type of behavior? Yeah, wait, what the fuck, dude? My parents never did, came even close. No one in my family well, came close. Well, the thing is, is, like, that. she's not even, like, my cousin. She's, like, my grandma remarried, and that's my grandpa. Dude. That's my step-grandpa's kid's daughter. Dude, she looks exactly like your sister's. I'm sorry. She's you're definitely related to I, I, I'm you just saying, I'm just people. trying... I I didn't say anything. I'm just saying I'm just trying to maybe that was the reasoning, and in their eyes maybe that thought I don't know. But I was just like I was always like it was super. I would always get really flustered too. So like, oh no, I'm not flirting. Stop! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> I get so mad. Or like, did you guys have teachers do that? Yeah. Yeah, Definitely. that pissed me the fuck. I would get so embarrassed, dude. And I don't know why. If if anything, your teacher's kind of like being like, "Watch over this guy, bro. He's got game. He's just spitting game while I'm teaching you about like the Roman Empire." <laughs> yeah, teachers probably it's love like, that shit because, like, I guess I like those like young that. those young kid teachers don't really need many qualifications. They're just like girls that go to the bar <laughs> every other yeah. week. <laughs> yeah, it's literally what they are. They're like yeah. hung over, and now they make TikToks. Yeah, who is <laughs> wait? Isn't your girlfriend just teaching at a preschool right now? Yeah, but she's not like <laughs> she's going out going getting drunk. Bar. She's responsible. Yeah, but she's still like any other like twenty year old. Like, well, even fun. like my third grade teacher. teacher was an older lady, and I guess she was like a regular at the beat at the Applebee spar. Oh, that's that that's was just like, like an old third mom. grade teacher. <laughs> that's like a yeah. place for, no not like a horny mom but like like a mom that looks like she like <laughs> trying to be hot still <laughs> i don't know her name was uh i guess i don't know why i was about to say her name i guess that's unnecessary but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah just talk to her right now dude, drop it. <laughs> all right mr net you were a real one she was yeah, a real I one though to... too I had like six pregnant teachers growing up, but they all probably like would have been hot if they, maybe not the last one. McFarlane was shit, dude. Yeah, teachers, but, they were just getting railed, bro. They were just getting, yeah, baked down, dude. All the teachers are getting fucked. No, I did have a teacher that always had like hickeys on her neck. It was like it's, weird. It's because they get like the hell of pay. No. They get a ton of pay and they don't have to work when they get prego. They're like, fill me with babies at one time off. I want to watch Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember in eighth grade when they had that like assembly about like what's appropriate for teachers to wear or something? No, I never had that. They had that at our school. It might have been like a separate you. assembly, but I remember their eighth grade. You did. Oh, eight, this is the eighth grade? I thought you meant yes, like way this is in, this is at, this, Yeah, this at the... What's it okay for a teacher to wear? I think it was like a different assembly. No, they had a they, day. Sh- they had a day where they could wear anything, right? Like for I teachers? don't know. They sh- yes, and then I think they were like setting up guides. But then they used examples for what they mean by that. They're like, we still don't mean you could do... And then they had like examples of teachers and like... 
tank tops. And I was like, and they were like, this is not okay. And I'm like, well, why are we flashing fucking Miss Duncan in a tank top? It wasn't Miss Duncan, Dude. unfortunately. No, but she was like crazy hot. Like, she shouldn't be a teacher. Is dude. she? She's but, like, okay, well, I was family. thinking about this. I was thinking about this a little after high school. I'm like, was Miss Duncan hot or was it was just like. We're trapped in school, and She's like hot, every dude. teacher is usually just horrific. And so she was like slightly whatever. No, I totally disagree. If I, she was so hot, dude. I think she Isn't was it? like hot, but I don't think she's like, uh, like I don't know if we saw her at like Walmart or Meyer or, or anything. We would just like look twice. I would. She I was think big. outside of that. Inv- <laughs> yeah, but no, she she fell off. I think after we left, like it's been five years now. I think she's like the age is getting to her. Droopy. Girls don't stay hot that long, dude. I you guess get like you hit thirty, it's like womp. Do you want to know? Yeah. Some women do get there. You know the average. Well, I can afford plastic surgery. <laughs> <laughs> do you know the average height and a weight for a woman in America? One sixty. Nope. At what size? Oh, uh, five four. Yeah, you're actually five. pretty close. It's three and a half. Five three and a half is the average woman height, Eric, and then one seventy. Damn, I was close as shit. That's a big woman, though. Kind of not really. That's what I'm low. saying, though. No, that's they a hold weight differently than us. Big five three is big. No, with that much weight, because like I don't know, they they hold weight different than us. Like they're okay, one seventy heavier on a girl a than is, a If a guy is six two, and he's like two fifty. People would people would be like, oh hey, you're getting a little, whatever. Even at six two maybe, and then so imagine shrinking down. You still are losing like, what like eighty pounds, but then you're taking away like almost a foot, shrinking it down like that. Because like the average male's like, there's like five nine. What is the average weight though? I only it was only the women that came up, but yeah. Good. How, what would like name a girl we know that's probably like five three one seventy? Yeah. No, okay, but like, how big do you think a girl? So the average male height is five nine in America, and the average male weight is one ninety nine. And to me, that's like I feel like that's a little proportional. Five nine. 199, I think, is pretty proportional to me. I think that's enough stretched out. It definitely depends on, like, the person, bro. Like, some but girls weight, naturally are way different. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you really tell based off of that. Yeah, but I mean, at some point, like, you if can, you're not you that can, tall, that weight's just like, going outwards. And it's not no yeah. longer building out. That's what I'm saying. Some girls... The outward, they be in the right place. That was nice. They do. That is why it's a little unfair because they do naturally have more fat. Than Brayden does like big Just girls. Like, I know he was. In, um, I'm trying to think of the famous girl rapper he likes. Brayden Maybe really liked Stallion. Harvey. You think that's a big girl? Yeah, I Brayden like really the liked Stallion. Party V is not a big girl. No, I like to make the Stallion. That's, that's just a thick girl. Like that's she's just thick. different. Big Meg's girls, like, tall, dude. Not shapely. Meg is big girl, bro. Damn, Meg, Cardi B Meg skinny is as shit. How is Meg she so kick, not big in sense of like you're thinking, but like she's a tall, girl, like, big girl. How how tall is Megan the Stallion? I don't know, but she's she got ten. That that's what I'm saying. She's five ten. Than me. She's that's five still a big ten. girl, dude. I'm saying that's a tall girl. Me, that's a tall girl. That's a the really average. Five, the average girl is five three. That's yeah, seven. I'm it's tall. Like, I'm not. <laughs> I, I would, but it's tall. That's all I'm saying. Five three is the average <laughs> for, bad, for a girl. I Megs the Stallion's five ten. She's basically just a dick taller than the average girl, I guess. <laughs> so I guess you're right. The seven oh, inches. That's nothing. Yeah, she's that's just a penis. Taller, you're right. You're right. <laughs> 
<laughs> She's little, bruh. <laughs> no, but I I don't know. I won't be. I won't I'll go I'll go I'll ease off and make. But I wholeheartedly love her. And uh <laughs> Should we do? Should we do Meg next to Cardi B on the lake? Oh yeah, dude! You should. I thought that was ice. No, spice. it's ice spice. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's ice spice. Well, you she got Meg. ice spice. Got skinny too. I can draw Megan the stallion. She did. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll draw Meg. I'll draw um, Meg. <laughs> she was in followers. It's crazy. But this time she has to say, um. Free Bill Cosby. Um. <laughs> no, we can't do the pro. We can't yeah, do the right, protest right. twice. Right. And Bill no, not Cosby. Not He's already free too. You, you got off with all of that. Oh yeah, he did. It's because he was too old, bro. He was like old and blind. By the time they gave him the charges, they're like, "We're just gonna lock an old blind man in a cage." Like, right, bye, bye. So, just don't. No one. Well, if he offers you a drink, just say no, and then let him die out. <laughs> or pudding. He's a big pudding guy. Tapioca. <laughs> you guys, see, already, you guys watch Atlanta. <laughs> I forgot you guys, what we're talking about. I you guys watch Atlanta one. ever? No. Yeah, George loves Do you that show. show. The Teddy Perkins episode. Oh, dude, is that the one where he's trying to buy the, like, piano? Yeah, yeah. That shit is creepy as fuck. That was a creepy episode. You know that's Childish Gambino? Yeah, I did. He's the Teddy guy? That's great to me. Yeah. And then he ate the... He, he's, a, he, he's a good actor, bro. He's he's a weird dude. He is, and I love that uh, Tupac was just alive in Amsterdam in some weird cult or something. <laughs> And Justin Bieber alive? was just some like, what? Do you think he could be alive in Amsterdam? Like, was it valid? Well, he's dead now. He's dead now. He, they, he died with the cult in Amsterdam. R.I.P. Tupac. I think he just re- died twice because after you said that, <laughs> the delivery, everything. <laughs> he just killed him again, man. <laughs> Damn, um, what well, shit, guys? What if you were gonna? If you could invent, take credit for any invention in the last our lifetime, what would you? What would you want to make? Not just speaking about money, how much the money made, but if you were just like, yeah, I brought that into the world. Like if uh, if there was something that's already here now, what would I reinvent? Like, you know what I mean? No, so I mean, like, something that something that got invented or like a form of media, like uh, um, something like that just got introduced while we were alive, that if you could have taken credit for it before it got invented in our lifetime, Bluetooth. what would you want? Bluetooth was invented way before our lifetime. What? Like, I would take the Minions. I feel like I'd be yeah. sick. You could yeah, have yeah, invented better like, no, I do. First of all, it's like, what do you think has more money? Uh, is worth more money? The Minions franchise or the Dallas Cowboys? Dallas Cowboys. Eighty. Yeah. I don't know the answer to this. Yeah, I think I, Dallas Cowboys. I'm gonna ask ChatGPT. Sure. We'll we'll just okay, guess. You know, I'm I'm Google it right, right now. As right. of as of July 2024. The Despicable Me franchise is worth over five billion dollars. All right, that's gonna be uh, close. Yeah, Dallas Cowboys got that is one of the 10. richest teams. Uh, at least ten. Ten billion. Okay. Okay. So yeah, still, still. Okay. So you could be like a stressed out Jerry Jones. Everyone makes fun of you. Your team loses every year. Or you could have been like. You could still be bro, making. Still, I made now. Groot. I'm losing every year, but I made two true. Million. True, true. I made the I fucking rather, minions. If you're saying, would you rather invent Despicable Me or the Cowboys? Probably Despicable Me. <laughs> and also, but, Despicable Me has been around for what, like, I think less still than better twenty out. years. I think How long has the Cowboys out. been around for? The Cowboys have been around for 
like hundreds of years now almost. Despicable Me is like not even 25 years old, dude. And we're not even 10 movies into this franchise yet, bro. We're going to make toys. We're going to do all this stuff, bro. I would have done Transformers. I'd be way more of a bachelor. Washed, than that dude. It's washed, bro. And Transformers was way before our, uh, we were born. That's not true. What? There was Transformers in like the 90s and the 80s. Right, fine, fine. Then I want to. You don't have to think you're like. I want to invent. Fuck. What do we have? Like oh, Facebook. That big gun. The big guns that they use in the military. The pew pew. The, why the do you? Th- why are you? Why are you literally like? I want to pick everything that's a hundred years old. Oh, <laughs> no. You want to pick? I you want to make our? I think they the might be. He <laughs> might be new, right. New missiles. I feel like that's okay. Bad. Well, you're like. Out of everything that came out in our lifetime, you want to be like an improved artillery weapon for the thing. That's that's yeah. what? Nah, yeah. trillions of dollars for that type oh, shit. Yeah. That the black you could just be like, you just be like, well, no, claw. they just like I, I wanted execute to invent you white and then claw. take it. I want to invent white claw and, white claws and only claws. fans and only fans. I get two because I'm going small. That was now. good. I think that is white good. Claw and see, only fans. I was gonna do the card readers or like, uh, well, that's a good one. Like the tap to pay stuff? Yeah, or like ATMs or some shit. That way you gotta pay me a fee every time you wanna use that bitch. How old is Bitcoin? Bitcoin's probably our lifetime. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Say crypto. Yeah. Yeah. crypto would be hard, dude, because then you're just like, you just got and like... you're They don't know who started Bitcoin either. So, like, yeah, exactly. to, right now, you would be like still a mystery guy, and all of us would just be like laughing. Like, <laughs> We did I think the, my CIA friend Ben did all this. CIA probably murked nah, him. I don't think. Or he CIA got away got with did you guys ever? Do you hear about what happened with the Telegram guy? Yeah, dude. And you know, dude, did you see those? Uh, so I saw all these videos about him yesterday. I'm sorry, I'm not. You get into your story after this, but I want to point out this no, one scenario with him. That's all. So how they got the logo for Telegram is they signed a deal. With this one guy, the the uh, CEO and founder of Telegram signed a deal with this other guy, and he's like, "You're rich now," and he like gave, he gave him a job or something in the company, and the dude's like, "I don't give a fuck about money. It's all about the, it's all about the dream, dude." And then he's like, "All right, throw all your throw the whole bonus out the window then," and they start doing airplanes, and they're like folding their money in airplanes and throwing out. They threw out like eighty thousand dollars out the window, and all these people started crowding around, and there's like videos of him. And he's just laughing, like, look at these fucking idiots. <laughs> and he's, like, throwing the fucking airplanes out the window. And people that's are like, crazy. ah! And it's so fucking funny, dude. But that's Telegram that's owner, awesome. dude. What happened to him? I have That's all I know about him. Oh, no, he oh, just got arrested in France. Oh, well, he's a bachelor crazy dude. Because he refuses to help this. Because the CIA and the FBI and all these other government agencies have been, like, trying to ha- hack into his stuff or like basically hey let us come in we're just gonna make a back door uh you'll never even know we're in there blah 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 and he like re- refuse so then he steps off his private jet in france and just gets arrested and because they're like you're you're help you're you're helping the you're helping pedophiles and, tr- and sex traffickers and drug dealers and he's like i mean it's just like the i guess like i'm not really like are, is who like i guess are you do you guys think you are responsible? Like, if you made a platform, are you responsible for what people do on that platform? Yes and no. Well, he made it so it's, like, super encrypted so the government can't get into the messages. Well, that's the whole so point of it, just so, like... His platform. Though. Okay, but it's also... <laughs> the whole platform is to hide from the government, then it's just, like, that defeats the purpose but of... why is that... But I don't think it should be banned. Necessarily. I don't think it should why, be banned. I, like, are we so brainwashed, like, as a society that we think that, like, at some level, the government should be allowed to create backdoors in our messaging things? Like, no. why is that a bad thing? This guy created his own platform. Hey, dude, you guys are already in Apple. You're already in the fucking iPhone itself, probably. So this guy creates his own app. He just says no to the FBI. I mean, is, are they just like expected? Does that like allow? Like, is that is, are we just reached the point to where like if you create anything, the moment the government asks you to, you have to just comply, or you get off your private jet in another country and now you're in a French prison for the last month? 
Yeah, no, I'm, I don't know. I'm I don't think like, that's something we should just be like, ah, oh, yeah, that makes sense. He gets arrested for because then it's like yeah. a slippery slope. Because now it's like the same thing with like the Kanye thing when they froze his bank account. I'm not necessarily saying it's a good thing that he said anything that he said, but it's a weird thing that people can say stuff now. And then the next day, your bank account is frozen. And yeah. a bunch of other things have this massive chain effect based off of just words that we say. And, like, again, maybe at some point we draw the line. But we all were really okay with it as a society very fast to just be like, yeah, that's okay. That makes sense. And so now that, they, now that that's okay, the next time so the next guy slips up, no one's even going to bat an eye. And then now we've just allowed the government to be like... Uh, you said some things on a podcast. I freeze your bank accounts, and no one even cares because you know we've already allowed it so many times. I don't know. It's just yeah, a weird I, thing that we just allow all this stuff, and I guess we can't really do anything. So allow is a weird word, but no one talks yeah. about how scary it kind of is. I definitely don't think he should get arrested for the Telegram shit. But I was just saying, I th- there is bad shit on Telegram still. But well, yeah, it's like but there's bad things bad. in the world. Do we even do, you, do we even fix that ever? Or do we just let My it thing go? Is, it's like complicated subject. The the acts will still be happening because they've been happening for centuries, bro. Like that's what bro. I mean. And then like also, and then everyone's like, "Whoa, guys! The government and all the powerful people want to take down the pedophile." Uh, hey, I hate to break it to you, you guys are the pedophile. That is true, and they're probably using Telegram. You guys are yeah. drug traffickers. You yeah, guys are the kingpins using... of everything. Like, like, what do you? You guys want to? They're probably sw- arresting him because they do it on Telegram, and he sees it, and he's the only guy that sees them doing their shit. And they're like, "We got to get rid of this Telegram dude because he sees all the shit we're doing on his app." Yeah, he's boom, boom, and then they're like... gonna buy it. The government's gonna buy Telegram after he gets arrested. They're gonna bear hug it. Just... Yeah, it's fucking, and then... yeah, it's gonna be fucked. They justify it by, like, a couple bad A's, but it's like, if we just, like, let, let that be the president for, like, full government regulation, then it's like, shit, dude. A couple bad eggs live in my fucking town. Is like, you guys allowed to just come police my town now, 24-7? And, like, I, I'm, like, gotta follow, like, a curfew? Like, is that the way we're heading down? Like, I don't know if that's just the president for, like... Yeah. If you, like, I don't know. So... Again, I don't I guess, think anything those are good, but I also like a couple guys who just want to sell mushrooms or like some weird dudes who like think the government's watching them or they're like super paranoid, want to just have a group chat on the app. I don't think it's like everybody on there is like a low life creep. Yeah. All right. Now to bring that up, uh, our first sponsor ever on the C, Telegram. Um, very <laughs> good setup though. Yeah. So we <laughs> just like, I yeah, think we're, oh, we we're, had we're, we're getting paid for this. We keep it, or are we just gonna keep going? I'm down to keep going, but oh, we we're at 43. We could wrap it, but did you hear about the Tim Pool stuff too? Who's Tim Pool? This like uh, guy, Tim Pool. He was on Joe Rogan a couple times, and when he had the Twitter, old Twitter CEO. <laughs> I gotta let my dog out, but hold on. Let me, <laughs> me put this up this time. You're ruining the clip, B. What he was gonna say was Tim was uh, pulling your mom last night. Tim did pull. <laughs> your mom. Oh, but he um, he basically he's just like reporter dude, whatever, and he he has this podcast network, and it comes to find out they're getting paid like four hundred thousand dollars a month. To promotion talking points from this like weird shell company in Russia, <laughs> and they're like, we didn't know where the money was coming from, and it's like, oh, okay, but you didn't start questioning when you make your podcast is making four hundred thousand dollars a month, and all of a sudden you guys are just like a pro Russia, pro anti Ukraine podcast. I don't know. So it was a little. Look, if Russia offered us four hundred k a pod, I'd be like, boys, oh, we're it. fucking Russia podcast now. $80,000 a pod, bro. $50,000 a pod. $500 a pod. Yeah. And I'm, I'm just spreading Russia propaganda every episode. Yeah, exactly. So that will be our uh, final thing. Do you guys have uh, 
Oh, I guess we already gave our picks for this week, though. It'll be coming out Thursday. So we'll just start doing... We'll only do our picks on Sunday. Hit us up, Putin. Unless you guys have, like, some more picks. You got a pick? Nah. I I got no picks right now. Our Sunday picks are for week two already. Fantasy football, Jew. Colts winning this week. That's what I'm calling. (laughs) Dude, the Colts is winning this week. Nah, they was looking great. They was looking great. They they didn't finish, but I the got fit that win one. Who are they playing? The Pack. Five. Who are they playing? I don't know who they're playing. The oh, they play the they're playing the Packers. Yeah. Oh, you're fucked, dude. That's Clams. Clam City. <laughs> well, we, we don't have out. a quarter of it. We don't have a quarterback, but you know I'm saying we showing out. They, they, they just got rid of Jacobs. Aaron Rodgers. He was showing off at the Jets. Josh Jacobs is a workhorse, dude. He's good out. Yeah, and we got Malik Willis. I think he can manage the game we but, uh, well, he was he played for liberty it was pretty good it was like a last chance you type thing and then he oh, really? went to tennessee but then he lost the battle to Will levis i don't oh, know i think really he's only in like a, no i think he's only in like it was just like one of those schools hmm like a last chance U type school, and they got drafted in like the second round or something like that. So he's pretty good, I think. Solid. Is he young? He's in like his third year. Is this drafted the same year Will Levis got drafted, I believe? Damn, okay. And Will Levis is only in his second or third year. So he's getting the starting. Right. Thank you, loud dude, Jordan Love. I mean, my dad, when, he, when Jordan Love got hurt in the Brazil game against the Eagles, and Malik Willis came on. My dad was fully convinced that Malik Willis is the prof- the true prophecy, the true prophet. Really? He goes, really? "This he goes, this is classic." Everyone thought it was Jordan Love, and now Malik Willis is coming. And I'm like, "Okay, I don't know what you know. I have no, I really know nothing about the guy." But my dad was like a little drunk, and we were all excited about the Packers being back. And then he was just like, "Malik Willis is a prophet," and I was like, is "What do you know?" Coming back. Huh? Is CMC coming back? Not Christian. this week. They said it's a long shot. So I'm going to try to uh Hey, his backup? He's been, I, he's been eating, bro. I picked him up this morning, play. dude. No one picked him up. I picked him up this really? morning. Yeah, yeah bro, no one picked him up. Felipe should have picked him up Monday before the game started. Damn. I heard, yeah, Felipe, like, I don't think, he wasn't even paying attention to that. No, because they said Christian McCaffrey, I guess, wasn't playing early Monday. And then he could have just picked up the thing and probably have done a little better. But then I have him now, and Felipe should probably try to trade him for me uh, because now he just has a massive hole because Christian McCaffrey's going to be putting up zero for the next week or two. Yeah. So tell Felipe we should talk. But also, probably going to let him out. All right, let's wrap this up. Drop the. All right, drop. who's wrapping? I thought pick was Blue. the end. I thought we don't rap because the pick. we'll do pick Sunday and we'll do rap. Rap George uh, Wednesday. George, we George, need to come rap. get down here. Or should we do a George KD rap battle? Yeah, let's no, do oh, let's do a live. Let's do a live rap battle. KD doesn't want to. Come on, let's do it. All right, I'll rap battle. I'll rap battle. George. All right, I'll rap battle. George. No, 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 no. no, no, no. George, get over nah, here. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. All right. Well, George is rapping anyway. Okay. Yeah. George, send us out on the I'm outro. Gonna, I need 10K to be on your podcast again. Bro, you got to give us 10K to be on our podcast again. Yeah, dude. You fucked up our views. <laughs> yeah, you fucked up the algorithm so hard. All right. I'll drop it. I'm going to do a spoken. I'm going to do a spoken word type rap, though. <laughs> Like how Kanye used to go around, you'd do like uh, "All Falls Down" like a poem. I don't like poems. Why don't you like po? Well, I'm gonna do a rap, but it's gonna be like a poem. Brandon, we already talked about this so many times, dude. What do you mean? You want me to pull up the clips? Why do you hate? All right, ready? <laughs> All right, you give me. You give me a word. We'll do this like the Harry Mack guy. George. <laughs> um, hmm. That's a hard one. 
Uh, all right, give me another word. <laughs> Curious. No. <laughs> Curious George. All right, I'm done with this. That was it. Call it. That's teeth. the C. Teeth? Yeah, I just saw my teeth. I was like, damn. All right, what about I give you... Give me a word. Right. Give me a word. Ready? Drop a beat. Dental floss. All right. Oh. Mm. I'll just ad lib you... for you. I'm going to ad lib for you. I can't do acapella. You have to do it, but I'll ad lib for you. Okay. All right, Gavin, give me a beat. Hey, dental floss. Hey, dental floss. I need me my dental floss. Hey, what? Randy Moss. Yeah, about to catch that pass like Randy Moss. What? Put it in your mom's ass. What's the cost? What? Cha-ching, cha-ching. Cha-ching, cha-ching. Your mom sucked my ding-a-ling. Yeah, your, uh, your dad didn't even hear your phone ring. Yeah. Cha-ching, cha-ching. Uh. Oh, dude, fucking... Call this, call this. That's the C, baby.